Welcome back to the channel, everyone. As always, it's a blessing to be here. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit the thumbs up button so you, we can be growing fast and spreading awareness of what's going on in these digital assets environment. But that being said, guys, today's video, we'll be talking about the exchanges are closing. The exchanges are given up. The exchanges are tired of being sued, okay? Even the stock exchanges that are slowly incorporating cryptocurrencies, they're all tired of being sued by the SEC. So when all this is happening, who was sued first by the SEC concerning the cryptocurrencies? We all know it, XRP, or even the parent company Ripple for selling so-called XRP as unregistered securities. Now, Binance got sued by the SEC. Coinbase got sued by the SEC. And what's something new? Coinbase stopped accepting United States dollar deposits. That is huge, huge news. Even Saudi Arabia is trying to dismantle and dethrone the United States dollar. And they're doing that as I am making this video, okay? There's a lot of financial incentive and financial war being done currently, even as I'm speaking, okay? I need you guys to be aware of what's going on in this environment, in this digital asset space, in this cryptocurrency space. Now, huge news broke out that Robinhood delisted three cryptocurrencies. Number one being ADA, Cardano, Solana, and the third one, I'm not too sure on it. I forgot it a little bit, probably AVAX or something in that sense. But they delisted three cryptocurrency exchanges or three cryptocurrencies from Robinhood. My mistake, Robinhood delisted three cryptocurrencies. The first two, I can tell you guys for sure, Solana, and ADA. The third one, I'm not too sure on it. I forgot it. But what does that tell us? That lets us know that retail doesn't have that much time to accumulate these cryptocurrencies. We don't have that much time to accumulate these cryptocurrencies. This is nothing. That's financial advice, guys. Whatever I say in this video and everywhere else is not financial advice. I'm just presenting you guys with the truth and the facts. And whatever you do with your money, is your decision. I'm not involved in that. You make decisions based on what is presented to you or whatever you do on the research. But I'm telling you guys here from what I see based on the truth and the facts, a lot of things are going sideways and a lot of things are going downhill. Big proponent to what makes me say that is because XRP got sued. Okay. When Ripple, let's just say Ripple, when Ripple got sued, what happened? It got delisted off the United States exchanges. And now these cryptocurrencies are getting delisted off United States exchanges considerable to be unregistered security ex securities by the Security Exchange Commission, the SEC, and of course, Gary Gensler, head chair. We have to be aware of what's going on in this space. When all these cryptocurrencies are del delisted, that means the retail cannot amass these tokens anymore. I'm not saying Cardano and Solana will go to the billions and even trillions of uh, market cap. They could, right? Potentially. And I'm not saying they can't, but I'm saying your chances to buy them are being limited. That's what happened. That's what happened when we saw the lawsuit with the Ripple. Our chance to buy XRP was limited and the price got crushed. The price got crushed. We didn't even have a good run in 2020, 2021 bull run. If you call a good run going up to $1.19, $1.20 in 2021, that's basically you don't, you don't even know anything in cryptocurrency. That's not a good run. We didn't even hit all-time high. Bitcoin surpassed all-time high and doubled, matter of fact. From 20K, it went to sixty-seven, sixty-nine thousand dollars Ethereum from $100 in 2020, it went to $4,700. Cardano went up to $3 since some change. All of these tokens went up to all-time highs, creating new all-time highs, creating price discovery points. 
but Ripple got extremely suppressed. Didn't even hit the half point. It didn't even hit a dollar. You know, it didn't even hit two dollars. It went up to a dollar ninety two, probably around that that price range. It didn't even hit two dollars. That's how much of market maker suppression there is. Huge, huge suppression in this Ripple and XRP ecosystem. <sighs> you just have to be aware of what's going on and never sell your bags. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm never selling my bags. And when I say never sell your bags, whatever you do or whatever research you do, if you come to the same conclusion, then you understand why I'm saying that. But guys, what do you think will happen when all of these US exchanges, even the stock exchanges, Robinhood is a main stock exchange. It just started adding some cryptocurrencies to the exchange, okay? What do you think will happen when these tokens are being delisted and saying, hey, these are unregistered securities. We're going to sue these tokens. We're going to court ruling. And then more and more tokens are being delisted off exchanges. You have less of less of chances to purchase them. We've seen it huge firsthand with Ripple as a part of the XRP 2.0 community. As Mel Carmine says, you have to be aware, guys. You have to be aware of what's going on in these cryptocurrency spaces and why there is huge suppression of price in the XRP. Why is XRP the number one to be sued and all the other cryptocurrencies follow it? Why is XRP the leader in this financial technology industry and all of these ISO 2002 other compliant tokens are following it? Why is Ripple XRP being suppressed to the maximum that even additional to the lawsuit, it went all the way down to 17 cents. 17 cents. 17 cents. Let that click in, okay? Ripple XRP is such a low risk, high reward play. If you understand this, Please give it a thumbs up. If you don't understand it, watch the whole video. Make sure you understand. Don't miss out, okay? Life is on the line. Your future is on the line. Aren't you tired of the way you're living now? Aren't you tired of being suppressed like XRP? Aren't you tired of them showing you all of these tokens blowing up? But the one token that's supposed to mean something in the world, that's supposed to be connected to all, without no internet, by the way, have not blown up. The day shall come. That day shall come. I'm telling you guys, please, please pay attention. Don't lose hope. And all of these delistings of other cryptocurrencies on exchanges just lets us know where it's headed. They're not meant for the masses, okay? The retail has a limited time to purchase up the supply before it goes boom and goes to skyrocket. We have no chance of purchasing them anymore. Pay attention. By that being said, guys, I'm your host, Crypto. You always, you always change. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Always make sure you do your own research. God bless. Peace out.